Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all of you. I hope you're having a great time with your loved ones. Staying safe, of course. I know that this year has been so crazy, but hey, you made it to Christmas, and I hope that you're having a great one nonetheless. As you can see here, I have my Christmas ugly sweater, uh, but it's clearly a PlayStation sweater. This is an official PlayStation sweater here. Uh, yeah, so in the whole battle between PlayStation and Xbox, clearly I do have my allegiances. I have picked my side, but I do love both of the consoles. I'm getting off tangent though. Uh, this is not about PlayStation or Xbox or anything like that. This is about Christmas. That's why I just wanted to make sure I wore this because I want to join in on the festivities with all of you. Hopefully you got some gifts that you were really happy to unwrap this morning. I have been doing this take a few different times and I keep saying unbox, obviously, because that's a term that we always use as YouTubers, as tech YouTubers. But today I wanted to join in on the fun with you and unwrap a present of my own. Now, I'm pretty sure I know what some of you are thinking. Uh, did he literally just buy himself a gift for this video? Yes, but it is definitely something that I have wanted ever since it was announced. Uh, and there's not a whole lot of ways to get it because this is not something that was released in the US. I think I know the next thing you're going to say. Damn, that wrapping is pretty bad. Did Josh do it himself? And to that I say, shut up. And finally, let's go ahead and just unwrap this thing, have some fun together, grab your uh, holiday eggnog or your coffee or whatever it is you might be enjoying on this particular Christmas and just join me in this unwrapping, which will lead to, of course, an unboxing. And then finally, I will give you some thoughts as to why I wanted to share this on this particular day. That's right, I went for the ASUS Zenfone 7. This is not necessarily a very new device. It came out maybe two or so months ago, and there are a lot of reviews out for the Zenfone 7 Pro, but I went for the regular 7. Now, here are the reasons why. As we're going through the actual unboxing, let me just explain that uh, this phone, this one and the Zenfone 7 Pro, are not available here in the US. So after a lot of deliberation, figuring out if I should actually pull the trigger and try to get one of these phones on my own, I decided to go for it, and this one was going to arrive just in time for Christmas. Now, in terms of Zenfone 7 versus Zenfone 7 Pro, I'm gonna be missing out on OIS in a couple of the camera lenses, but other than that, they are still the same cameras. And then I'm going to be missing out on the plus side of the 865 Plus, the Snapdragon 865 Plus. I think for the most part, I should be okay though. This is still going to be a high power device with just a few of those little things omitted uh, in the version that I ended up buying. As far as the unboxing experience is concerned, it's uh, really simple at first. I thought that when I opened up one of the flaps, I just saw a USB-C to C cord, and then of course a different plug adapter uh, for other markets, not for here in the US. Uh, the thing is the retailer that I bought this off of on Amazon did include an adapter, but otherwise I'll just use the cords that I have available around me anyway. And then I got a surprise when I opened what I thought was going to be a flap, but was actually a small box uh, that inside housed a couple of cases. Because of the flipping camera that is on the Zenfone 7, of course, cases might be a little bit hard to come by. So it's really awesome that ASUS went ahead and just included a couple of them here. One of them is a clear case that might provide a little bit more grip, uh, while the other case actually has this textured feel to it, but it might still be a bit slippery. And there's actually a little notch up here here that when you activate it, it'll keep the camera from actually flipping. So it's a little bit of like a safety thing for the mechanism. Always great to see things like this in the unboxing experience, but let's finally get over to the phone itself. This is a great looker of a phone. I know that there are the brighter colors. I think there was the uh, white gradient with pink that everyone was really into, but the one that I was able to get is just this Aurora Black Edition. When the light hits it just right, you get this sort of blue hue to it and it still looks awesome. And then when you see the camera module up here, you have a regular uh, main sensor, which will provide most of the power. You have a wide angle, an even more improved wide angle than before, and the zoom lens, uh, which of course all of these will be able to flip over. That way the rear cameras, the good rear cameras, become your really great front-facing cameras. Clearly that's one of the reasons why I really wanted this device. The thing is, I've had an experience with Zen phones in the past. If you followed me in 2019, you know that I went on a lot of trips. Clearly 2020 has been a full 180 from all of that. Uh, but the phone that I really found so memorable from those trips to Japan and the Philippines was actually the Zen phone 6. It is still my favorite phone from 2019. And sure enough, the Zen phone 7 continues the tradition of having a good shooter on a phone that makes those rear cameras your awesome front cameras. 
Normally I'm not a huge fan of like really big phones and this one is a little bit bigger. It's not the hugest one out there, but it's definitely bigger than the Zenfone 6, which I thought was a perfect size. Uh, the thing is this year has taught me that the larger displays uh, can bring me so much fun that I will sort of look past the handling experience, especially with all of the media consumption I've been doing and also honestly the game streaming and video gaming that I've done on my mobile devices. Of course, with the Zenfone 7, you don't have any notches or any cameras or really anything cutting into what is a full screen experience here. And I kept thinking, if I got a Zenfone 7 or 7 Pro, it might be my favorite device of 2020. I've been on quite a few of the uh, quick clip shows that many YouTubers have been having me on. Thank you again for including me. And um, I haven't really been able to feature a Zenfone 7 because I haven't even touched one yet. After doing a few of those videos, I decided, you know what, I have to bite the bullet and get the global edition because that's how much I believe this phone will actually entice me. Of course, I couldn't let this video go by without showing you at least a little bit of what this camera can do. So you're going to watch a little bit of a montage, a little bit of a reel of shots and photos uh, of the meal that we're preparing for this Christmas. So again, Merry Christmas to all of you. Uh, now, one thing I do want to explain though in this particular clip is that um, even though I would love to have the OIS, the optical image stabilization, in the main lens and the zoom lens. The thing is, when you do the vlogging stuff with this phone, you're mostly using the wide angle lens when it's flipped over to the front. And wide angle lenses very rarely, if at all, get OIS anyway. So that's the reason why I'd rather save a little bit of money um, and get the phone that I can get right now uh, because the OIS and the other lenses are not something I would use anyway. Also, by the way, one of the best parts about this flipping camera is that it also brings a microphone with it. So you have a microphone at the top, which is what the phone already has built in, and then the camera has yet another one that it brings forward so that it can capture audio even better. Again, this phone, perfect for anybody that actually wants to vlog using main cameras. But with all of that said, a happy holidays cheers to all of you, and let's get back to the rest of the video. And so there you have it. This is one of those videos that is not as timely to the release of the actual device, but it's one that I really wanted to do. As a YouTuber, sometimes you gotta do one of those videos that you just really are jazzed about, and this was that for me. Gotta come back to the Zenfone life, to the flip camera life, uh, and in this case, the Zenfone 7 will hopefully be the phone that actually proves to me it was 2020's best device for JV. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Zenfone 7 as one of my main devices for the rest of the year and maybe for the foreseeable future. But you can still look forward to a camera test and some complaints and takeaways once I'm able to get to them. Uh, so I can tell you what my experience has been like with this phone that I was so excited to get that I, had just, I just had to buy one for myself. Again, happy holidays and Merry Christmas to all of you. If uh, it is Christmas and you are unwrapping presents with me, thanks for joining me on this. I just wanted to share something like this that I was really excited for today. And uh, yeah, if you have hung out with me in this video and made it this far, thanks again. Now, go be with your loved ones, enjoy the rest of the holidays, enjoy your Christmas, and really just have a great end of 2020. We're looking forward to what comes after and hopefully everyone can finally get past what this year has been and just the craziness that it has been and we can look forward to a brighter future. With all of that said, go back to your loved ones. Thank you again and enjoy your tea and your holidays, everybody.